Hey, y'all. Welcome back to a special edition of Hopped Up Beer Review. We are in the midst of the 2023 Brewer's Advent Calendar. Today, we are drinking the Export Hell from Privet Brauerei Jot B. Falter out of Regen, Deutschland. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing, and this time of year, it is beer out of the 2023 Brewers Advent Calendar. We are running through many of the beers, and uh, yeah, just enjoying uh, another year of Advent Calendar. I've got Andy in the attic, I've got Jay, I am Ben, what are we drinking? Uh, me again you again of course this one's easy export hell yeah i could say that export hell export hell by who <laughs> there we go yeah let's go let's drink another hell hell this is actually a dortmunder Ooh. this this would be a new beer right Dortmund export, yes. This one well, we did. new considering we didn't do it in last year's Brewers Advent calendar at the 2022. Correct. Yeah. What what else would he mean by that? Have you new, had this one before? Well, new for like just newly released by the brewery. New. Oh, uh, okay. New to us. New to us, yeah. Yeah. That's all I meant. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. A little foamy. Well, we did one Dortmunder last year. Uh, could I uh, recall? Dortmunder so I looked it up so a Dortmunder export um it's it was an original pale not this one particular but the style of beer um it's originally pale lager and it was brewed by Dortmunder Union in Dortmund Germany and starting in 1873 Oh, so it's a version of Hellas. It's got the malt of a Hellas, but it's got like a bitter of a Pilsner. So it's a little more of that bitter aftertaste that you would get from the Pilsner versus the Hellas. I can see that. So, mm-hmm. so it's got a, you know, it's a little <clears throat> more balance. It's not one range or another. Um, yeah. Ferments on the bottom. Very clear. Cold, cold for me. So the brewery, Privet Brewery, Yacht B. Falter, or we would say J.B. Falter. So, um, the original brewery um, was founded in 1649. It's changed hands through the years. Now it's currently the Falter. That, you know, but it um, was founded after the Thirty Years' War. We hear that about that. 30 years war again um, that are referenced in other reviews. So. How long was that war? Reagan. I really don't know. Yeah. Could be 30. Other than that, that's it. That's all you got, huh? I'm drinking up. All right. So uh, if you're watching this video, this is the first of our videos you've seen. Uh, just give you a little quick background. Last year we went through, uh, you know, we had each had a box of this and they happen to all match up. And so we went through day by day uh, this year. And through that experience, we realized not everybody had the same lineup in their box. Uh, so this year uh, we have decided to, uh, instead of going day by day, just record all the videos, release them uh, prior to, you know, December 1st. And, um, you know, hopefully you come across beers that are in your box. So if you're watching this, we are obviously assuming that 
more than likely you had this beer in your box. The assumption. Good assumptions. Or or you could be from Germany and actually had the beer fresh on draft or <laughs> for next door. Or, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In cans there. I don't know. And you want to see what how three idiots mispronounce all the German words? Well, two idiots at least. You know, Andy uh, does yeah. a much better job than we do. Um but if and it's then, an export, they imported their export from their same country. How does that work? I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy. You're you're you're, you're, you're getting too much logic into it, Andrew. Mm. We're gonna have to bring in Art Vandalay to uh sort that one out. <laughs> He's an importer exporter. He's an importer exporter. Yeah. All right. Um <laughs> None of us have obviously had this before, right? Nope. I think we already established that. Um, Jay, why don't you go first for us? Sure. Um, I don't know what it is, but I really like this beer. It, maybe it's a combination of the malt with the bitter. Um, balance, man. It, it is. It's 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 a balance. It's com- It's got a little more complexity to it than some of the others that we've had from a hell standpoint in, in the way that I've tried them. I really like it. Um I, I think I'm gonna have to give this one an eight. All right. Mr. Mm. Attic. It is good. I should call it export heaven. <laughs> uh, the corn is oh. back. Um, not in the beer though I don't taste so much corn in there no. it really is good uh, golly it is very crushable I didn't mention but it's 5.3% <clears throat> easy to drink crisp and it, you know it, it does remind me a lot of a pilsner uh, I'm sure it's not very far off of it from one but hmm I'd say it's easily seven and a half. It's like teetering. If we did quarter points, I'd probably be at seven, seven, five. So yeah, seven and a half. So. <laughs> yeah, our, our at least my math skills don't don't work well with quarter points. They don't really even work well with half points. But uh, we, we decided <laughs> to throw them in there, right? So, uh, so yeah, ten point scale halves only. Um, all right, I, you know, I think this is, uh, as we're recording these, um, and I'm going to say this, and now I'm, as I'm about to say it, I'm wrong. I was about to say this is the first one we had that we didn't do last year, but that's not right. We had one other. Um, so uh, I think that, you know, this one for me is, I think it's good. I think it's I definitely like the flavor. The malts are all flavorful. Um, I don't like it quite as much as Jay does. Uh, I'm, I'm probably more there with Andy. It's about a seven and a half for me, but it is, it's light, crushable, clean. Uh, it's got a fair amount of carbonation. I mean, I've got a lot of dancing bubbles in here and have, uh, you know, felt that as well, at least mine does. Um, so, uh, yeah, seven and a half for me. You wanted to go seven, you, seven, five. I think you, you shook it up. <laughs> I did not want to go seven seven five uh, personally. No, um, so seven five is the, probably the top end on this one for me. Yeah, I might have gone seven two five. Oh, uh, see, not seven seven. You're onto these quarters. Yeah. Oh, no, no, <laughs> we're not. We're not changing this far in. We're not changing. You know, three hundred <laughs> videos in. We're not. We're not swapping at this one. That is going to be a 7.7 for the export hell from Falter. Privet Browery. Privet Browery. You'll be Falter. There you go. Um, JB. JB, yeah. Old Jabe. Uh, yeah, so definitely, hopefully this one's in your, uh, your Brewer's Advent Calendar for 2023. If it is, let us know what you think. Where would you rate it uh, on a scale of 1 to 10? We would love to hear that down in the comments. Uh, also, come down and check in the description. Uh, you can check out all our social media accounts if you're interested in that. You can come say hey in our Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server if you would like to chat with the three of us and the others who have joined us. 
And I am sure we'll be chatting a lot about the 2023 Brewers Advent Calendar here in the next few days. Uh, and lastly, if you have any interest in any Hopped Up Beer Review merch, uh, like what Jay is showing off there, uh, you can catch that at a link below as well. With that, uh, thank you for checking out our video here. Hope you are enjoying your 2023 Brewers Advent Calendar and hope you have enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell. We would definitely appreciate that. For Andy in the Attic and Jay, I am Ben. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.